All right, Taylor Ham, 24-7 Sports, here with St. Pius quarterback 2019 five-star Grant Gunnell and head coach Steve Hill. Uh, guys, it's um, – it's going to be a big season for you guys. Obviously, Grant's poised to do some big things. Uh, but, Coach, first of all, I wanted to get your your take on, you know, Grant as a player. Uh, you, you've coached some good ones. You have to remind us some guys that you've, you've helped uh, move along to the next level. Uh, but what makes Grant special? You know, I think uh, maybe the best thing that happened for Grant last year, kind of the worst thing for our team was Clay Roberts um, was our quarterback, and he's now at UTSA. But he tore his ACL. Uh, Grant got to come in and get a little varsity experience late in the year and uh, was able to lead us to the uh, state semifinals. Um, you know, I think more than anything, the confidence that uh, he's got this year and being able to recognize the defenses. Is, and I, I've given him the ability to get us in and out of good plays. Um, and just, you know, his overall composure behind the center and his ability to check us uh, into better protections and stuff. And that's one of the things that it's kind of hard for a senior to do, and he's able to do it right now as a sophomore. So, you know, he's doing a really good job at that. How does he compare to some of the other guys you've coached? You know, uh, when I came on the scene, uh, you know, I burst on it at Kincaid, and I had four children. He went to a BCS school. You know, he went to West Virginia. I had JT Granado, who's at Rice, and then uh, Clay Roberts at UTSA. So we kind of had a tradition of, of strong quarterbacks. And, you know, what Grant gives, I think, that no one else did is his ability to stand in the pocket and throw it. But, you know, everybody calls him a pro-style quarterback, but he may be more one of the more mobile quarterbacks that I've ever had. So his ability to, uh, when things break down, kind of get us out and get, you know, run down the field and uh, this year he thinks he can take off linebacker so I'm trying to get him to uh, make sure to learn how to slide that's probably going to be have where I have to have a practice at sliding this year I think. Well, we're going to get to you in a second, Grant, but one more last question for you, Coach Hill. Um, you know, just, you know, in, in terms of his ceiling, I mean, everyone that's seen him throw understands, you know, the footwork mechanics are there. Uh, but how good do you feel like he can ultimately be? Because when I look at him, I think he can actually go in and maybe play college level right now, given his, you know, the ability I saw out here today. You know, no question. I think, you know, as long as he continues to improve, he's one of the hardest workers we have. We come, He comes in and meets with me every day. Um, if he continues to improve, um, continues to have the great work ethic that he has, and, you know, I don't think there's any doubts we'll play, see him play on Sundays. Awesome. Now, Grant, uh, some pretty high praise there from from your coach. Uh, how, how has just this whole process been for you? I mean, we'll we'll get to more of the recruiting here in a minute, but you know, in, in terms of making your way up and now putting yourself on the scene nationally, how are you kind of handling it as a sophomore? Um, it was a little overwhelming at first, but I got a hold of it last year as I went on with my teammates, but. I mean, I'm just really just taking it in right now. I didn't think it happened this early. Yeah. Freshman. Now, you went to a bunch of camps uh, this spring and during the summer. Remind us which places that you got a chance to throw at and, you know, maybe some spots that really kind of stood out to you. Um, I threw at A&M, Florida State, Houston, and Iowa. Okay. And uh, probably the best facility was either A&M or F FSU, those are probably two best facilities. You're gonna have to remind us our of your offer list right now. What what offer list do you? I mean, what offers do you have on the table right now? I uh, have A&M, Florida State, Houston, Texas State, and uh, Oklahoma State. Oh, I went to Oklahoma State. Those facilities were nice. Awesome. Now, uh, what what are some you know spots early on from you know that you're you're not only looking forward to seeing again, but maybe some schools that you're high on, you know, even early on in the process. Um, I was going to go to Florida, but I had to cancel. That's that's one place I want to definitely go to. I'm going to uh, Texas Saturday. I'm going to see how it is. I haven't really heard much from them, but a little bit. So, sir. Preview that visit for us. You're heading up to Austin. Coach Strong's obviously doing some nice things on the recruiting trail, trying to build the program back up. What do you think of Longhorns? Uh, I, I like the Longhorns. They're on the come up from what they've been at, but Coach Strong's doing a really good job. I want to go see what they have. Talk, take us through that, that Texas A&M camp. I, I, there were a ton of really good quarterbacks out there, as you know, uh, guys like yourself, um, you know, Cade Fortin, who just committed to Texas A&M, Spencer Rattler, who's in your class from Arizona. Um, how was that camp for you? What, did you? what kind of feedback did you get from Coach Mazzone? Uh, he said I threw the ball really well, but it was, it was just fun to go out there and throw with all those kids. I mean, Spencer is a really good quarterback, and then Cade is good too. But, I mean, every quarterback there was good, so it was just fun to go out there and compete. How do you feel about the Aggies early on? I feel I talk to Coach Mazzone a lot, probably once every week, so I like them a lot. Now you're going up there for the UCLA game. Have you been out to Kyle Field before? Have you had a chance to see game day before? And if so, what did you think about it? Uh, I went my eighth grade year. It was just for the. I, it was amazing. It was before the new stadium, though. 
What, what are you looking for in a school? And are, are there a couple of places that you feel like r- stick out as, as options that you think are going to be there just pretty much throughout the entire ride for you? Uh, I mean, I'm looking for academics and a team that, I mean, pro style would be nice, but I can go spread either. And then, I mean, a team that competes in their division and then for national championships too is probably what I'm looking for. Any schools early on standing out to you? Uh, Florida State is a lot. And then A&M. Those probably, and Oklahoma State also. I like Coach um, Yersich a lot. Finally, what are some goals for you going into your, into your junior year? Um, obviously, it's going to be a big season for you. Most That's you, typically the time junior year where uh, things really start to evolve for a prospect. You have offers going to be more coming soon. So, you know, do you feel the pressure to kind of step up and, and kind of live up to the hype, so to speak? Uh, actually, the pressure is off right now for me. I just can go out there and have fun and play with my teammates. Man, always a good answer. It's Taylor Ham, 24-7 Sports.